What is a cybersecurity analyst? In many organizations, there are many cybersecurity roles, positions, responsibilities, and the cybersecurity analyst is a role that is very integral to defending organizations against the bad guys out there. Let's have the discussion today about what a cybersecurity analyst is and if this is something that you might wanna do in your cybersecurity career. Let's talk about it and let's have the discussion. Let's start this video off with the definition of what a cybersecurity analyst is. One thing that you might come into is that you might see that there are many different names for the same type of role for a cybersecurity analyst. You might see security analysts, you might see information security analysts or infosec analysts, SOC analysts or security operations center analysts, and there are even more titles. So if you run into any of those or any others, you will be talking about a cybersecurity analyst role here. But let's look at the definition. A cybersecurity analyst is a professional who is responsible for ensuring that the security of an organization's computer systems, networks, systems, data, for all these potential threats and potential incidents. They will work to prevent unauthorized access, theft, damage, disruption, impact to critical systems, impact to business operations for an organization's digital environment. That's the overall definition of what a cybersecurity analyst is. But now let's get into what they actually do. What do cybersecurity analysts do? Typically they would do several things. And I'm gonna go over four of those examples today. The first one that we're gonna talk about is monitoring and interpreting security alerts for potential security breaches or incidents. In many organizations, there are these things called SIMs or Security Incident and Event Management Systems. This is pretty much the eyes and the ears of an organization's security monitoring strategy here. So security analysts, a lot of times, will get tickets, will get different alerts that come from these different tools. And what they will do is that they will interpret this to really understand if something very bad is happening or if anything bad is happening at all. There are many false positives that happen in this case. So these security uh, analysts are kind of sifting through all of the data, all of the information, and really trying to find the bad and what really will impact the business of that organization. Another thing that they might do is that they will conduct vulnerability assessments against an organization's systems and networks to implement and then they will work to implement manual or automated remediations. What does that mean? They might utilize tools, scanning tools, things like Nessus, right? Nessus is a very popular vulnerability assessment or vulnerability scanning tool. They would run it in certain parts of their environment of an organization, and they will gain an understanding of, hey, is this device unpatched? It's a Windows system that's unpatched. Or, hey, is there something that might incur some type of SQL injection for this web application that we're monitoring? Or, hey, there might be some protocols or some something that might be going around in the environment that points to some type of security vulnerability. That's another thing that they might do. They might run Nessus or use Nessus in order to try to find the vulnerabilities within an organization before the bad guys find them. Another thing that they might do is that they might implement and maintain security policies, procedures, and controls. This is something that might be less technical in their responsibilities. They might get together the documentation, they might update information, things like the security incident response plan, the business continuity plan, and they might even look at different security controls that might need to be implemented in their environment in order for them to stay secure from the bad guys. And another thing is that information and knowledge and really understanding the tempo or the pulse of the security incident or the security industry. One thing that they need to do is that they need to stay up to date with the latest security threats vulnerabilities and security technologies to ensure that their organization's security posture stays strong. So they might look at threat intelligence reports. They might be on different websites or forums and really try to understand where the bad is happening. In many cases, what happens is Twitter is a very popular place where if you're looking for what the latest and greatest incidents and the bad stuff that's happening in cybersecurity, you will go to Twitter because that's where a lot of the information is. InfoSec Twitter is a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of resources in order to really try to stay up to date of what's happening in the cybersecurity field. So those are four of those responsibilities. One, monitoring and, and interpreting security alerts, conducting vulnerability assessment or trying to find the bad before the bad guys find the bad, implement security policies, procedures, and controls for organizations, and also staying up to date with the latest and greatest good or the bad things that are happening within cybersecurity. I wanna point you towards someone's YouTube channel. It's called Mad Hat. And this individual has a video called My First Day as a Security Analyst. And I wanna point you to a specific piece of the video which goes where he goes into what his specific responsibilities are within his organization. Let's go to that right now. The way that the role itself in, on the IR team is, and as a security analyst, our job is to address 
tickets that come in that are generated from alerts, and the alerts come in from every tool that they have in the environment. So there's a lot of tools. It's a very robust tech stack, I gotta say, so it's gonna be a lot to digest. We've only touched on two of the tools, and there's still like seven or eight more tools. The tool that we did cover was an email filter system, and basically it has a little bit of AI-driven learning, but most of it is signature-based as far as I can tell. So it has a list of known bad actors, and if an email comes in and it has one of those bad actors, it'll generate an alert. There's also user-submitted phishing email tickets that get generated when users go into their email, they see an email that they think is somewhat malicious looking. At the top, they'll have a button that lets them flag the email as malicious, phishing or spam, and then that generates a ticket and that goes into our ticketing system. And so all these different tools are generating these tickets and you'll be able to see in the ticketing system whether or not it's from one particular tool or, or not. We've been focusing primarily on the phishing tickets, the, so the email filter and the user submitted uh, phishing tickets. So there's two different places that phishing tickets are getting flagged. And so we have to do investigations and check to see like the email header, the links in the email itself, the formatting of the email, the history of the sender, history of the email sender, and do a full complete investigation to fully determine whether or not this is a benign marketing spam, because a lot of people are spamming and marketing their goods, or if it's actually intentionally malicious and trying to harvest either, either information, so some type of social engineering, or if it's legitimately just like a credential harvesting, which I've already seen at least 20 of those. So it happens pretty much on a daily basis where you'll get these credential harvesting because this is a Fortune 500 company. So they have about 20,000 or so employees. So they're getting a lot of surface area of attack. Now we're going to get into probably the part that a lot of you want to know about. Before you go into any type of career field, you want to understand the compensation and the salaries associated with them. So after a little bit of research that I've done, the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics said that the security analyst, the average salary for security analysts is $103,590 on average. And that can range, right? Many times security analyst roles can be that of an entry level or early career type of role. But for other organizations, like I mentioned before, it can be that of maybe more of a mid-level type of role. So that range in salaries is very, it makes a lot of sense. On some of the lower ends, you might see a security analyst making 60, 65, 70K. But on the higher end, they might be there right at that 120, 130, maybe even 160. I've seen some of those roles as well. And again, based upon industry, experience level, and also location. But on average, we're seeing that at that $103,590 USD on average for a security analyst role. Now, I do want to direct you towards a very interesting website, a website that I really like, and it's called CyberSeek. Let's go ahead and go over to that site right now so I can show you more about this and how we can help to explain things about the cybersecurity analyst role. Let's go there now. OK, so this is the CyberSeek website. And as you see here, um, I want to zoom in to a couple of pieces because this is a very good resource for really trying to understand things in cybersecurity and many times roles. So here it says cybersecurity career pathway. That's one of their website pages. And it says there are many opportunities for workers to start and advance their careers in cybersecurity. This interactive career pathway shows key jobs within cybersecurity, common transition opportunities between them and detailed information, salaries, credentials, all of the above. Very good website. And I will have this in the, in the description section for you. But I do want to bring your attention over here right now to that of a cybersecurity analyst. And kind of as you click it, it kind of shows some interconnects between different things. And here it has it more through the mid-level type of roles where I've seen mid-level or entry level for cybersecurity analysts. But let's go down into some additional details about the cybersecurity analyst role. So here it actually has that average salary a little bit higher. Right, so this polls different websites like Indeed or LinkedIn to try to find where some of those salaries are on average. And here we're seeing that at $109,537. Um, it's also projected to grow. And another thing about cybersecurity analysts is that they can have specialties. You can be a cybersecurity analyst specializing in incident response. You could be a cybersecurity analyst specializing in threat hunting or even cloud security. So these specializations are also here for the cybersecurity analyst role. Threat intelligence, as we see here, threat intelligence and response, security, event, incident and event management, threat hunting, you name it. 
These are some of the core responsibilities and skills that they list here. And they even get into some of these certifications where you see the CISSP, where maybe they're for the mid to senior level type of roles if you're going for a security analyst, but even some of these same GX certifications and CISA and CompTIA Security Plus is very common too, one that I've seen very often. And these are some other other top skills that it mentions here, information security, Linux, right? Network security, threat analysis, vulnerability assessments. So I just wanted to bring your attention here. Maybe you can jump in here and look at even more roles. As you see here, there are 31,379 the current total roles that they're seeing that are open for cybersecurity analysts. So hopefully this has been something valuable to, to you and I will have that cybersecurity or CyberSeq website there in the description section. So we went over so much information here. We went over some of the titles for cybersecurity analysts. We went over what their overall responsibilities are, different industries. We saw someone who had an example from another YouTube channel. That'll also be in the description section. We looked at salaries and also some of these skills, experience and certifications necessary to get in this role. But if you have more questions, something that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to throw it down there in the comment section and I'll make sure that I respond back to your comment. But hopefully this has been valuable to you. And again, this is Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Hopefully this has alleviated one of your struggles and really understanding what a cybersecurity analyst is and what they do. And if this is something that you wanna do for your own career. Thanks, come back for our next video.